What up, people of the world? Special Caesar here, coming at you with more sweet video game action. Today we are starting a playthrough of Wasteland 3. I thoroughly enjoyed the second one when I played it a couple of years ago, so we're looking forward to this for a while. The sequel came out a couple of months ago and is now available on Xbox Game Pass, so I figure we should download it and check it out. Plus, all my friends keep going on about how it's an incredible combination between XCOM and Fallout, so it's right up my alley, the kind of game I'd really love. Probably play it just to get them off my back, really. Uh, gonna be starting a new game, of course. What difficulty do we want? Well, I think we should play it on Ranger, just because, you know, why not? I have completed the tutorial already, tutorial chapter at the start. Just to get an idea of the controls and configuration options and setup. That way the game can get going and this video can get going a lot faster and get off the ground without me faffing around for ages with the character creation and learning all the button mapping. I have already decided on our class abilities and what attributes we're going to set, but we'll get to that in a minute after the opening cutscene. Every monster was a man first. Edward Albee. It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then the Cochise AI woke up, and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing. For I think that's what happens at the end of the second one, as far as I remember. Then, the Rangers heard from a fellow calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the Rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. Oh, that's creepy. A doll's head. Whoa, whoa! Sorry, Major. No way we're getting through that. 10-4, Cody. Advance team reported an alternate route across a frozen lake. Find it. <sighs> Copy that. Well, reluctant as the Rangers are to interfere in family squabbles, they weren't really in a position to say no. Our route's around that dam on Sure. Scouts, check out the ice and lead us across. Yes, ma'am. So the brass sent Ranger Team November across the Rockies. Because the aid he was promising the Rangers wasn't just their best hope. It was their last. Okay, Major. All good. Come ahead. Well, that's it. You just hit the ice once and then assume that it's perfectly fine to travel across. That's mental. Oh, it's more of those dolls head. I wonder what those were before. Mines. Kablamo! Ambush! the thing about the rangers it doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall they keep on fighting the rangers never stop fighting oh yeah So we're going to create our own custom characters rather than using the ones preset. 
We won't bother with the parents for now. Actually, we will bother with the parents because we have to get it done. We're just going to randomise it. And I've decided one of our characters is going to be a brawler because I want to see how well it scales. The UI claims that they're really weak at the start, but towards the end of the game they get really powerful. So I've got to see if that's the truth. And the other one is going to be a sniper slash SMG user so that he can use... Um, he can snipe from afar, that looks good for our sniper. And use SMGs if enemies get up close. Starting weapon is going to be a sniper. Tributes. So these are going to take all the way down on all of them, apart from strength is going to be max, so that gives you constitution per level, and that way we'll have a huge reservoir of health by the end of the game, with any luck, and we'll take one intelligence, because you get one skill point per every two intelligence, so the extra one means we'll get another skill point, and then the rest of it's going to go into charisma give us bonus XP and the plan here is to as I say have a huge reservoir of health by the end of the or throughout the whole campaign so we're really tough to kill I won't choose the skills just yet I'm going to take for the quirk we're going to take bot bag because that gives us six armor and only reduces our combat speed by 0.4, which seems pretty good. Now, when it comes to games like this, I really hate it when it feels like you're missing out on content because you don't have a high enough skill level in something. So, for example, you can't get through a door because you don't have high enough lockpick, or you can't hack a computer because you don't have enough hacking skill, or you can't get to certain dialogue options because you don't have enough skill points in hard ass or kiss ass. So what we're going to do is focus entirely on leveling up our non-combat RPG skills, which allow us to succeed outside in the main world, more outside of combat, in the real, in, not in the real world, in the map, main map, and progress further with RPG elements of the game. And then once they're fully upgraded, we'll focus on our combat skills. So the start of the game should be quite easy because it's the start of the game. But towards the middle of the game, it might get quite tough once we start encountering more powerful enemies. And we don't have very high skills in combat. Which is why I'm giving our guys more armor and huge reservoirs of health. So that they're, they're tougher to take down as well. Now this will either go two ways, either it will be a huge success and by the end of the game will be ridiculously high level characters with a huge reservoir of health and shit ton of skills in all the right areas, or we'll get about halfway through the game and it will become too difficult to complete and we won't be able to progress in any direction. Personally I'm hoping it's option A, but there's only one way to find out so we're going to go ahead and try it out anyway. So for example, Animal Whisperer is something we want. Wait, who's this guy? This is going to be my sniper. So my sniper is going to have Animal Whisperer. He's going to have... Hard Ass, and he's going to have Kiss Ass. What can I spend the last one on? Well, I'm making him a sniper, so I'll put him on sniper. Oh, we can have another animal whisper if we want. No, I'll make him a sniper. Actually, yeah, like I said, we'll go for the. We'll go with hard ass. We'll go for the dialogue options. And now Hawk is going to be our 
gonna be a brawler, so he needs to be massive and look well not say massive but look the part. That looks pretty good. I like the helmet. That looks pretty badass. That'll do. Oh, I need to set the portraits. That looks like a done and done. Starting weapon, she is going to be a brawler, rolling weapon. See, brawlers start out weak but have huge potential at higher levels, according to this. You also gain critical hit bonuses for each consecutive strikes and make with the jabby jabby. We'll also be going into strength anyway, which does melee damage bonus. So she's going to be an absolute beast naturally anyway. She's got 35% bonus to melee damage. And then all the bonus in mission rewards and experience. Her skills. We've got Animal Whisperer. She can have one in Explosive, one in Sneaky Shit, one in Lock Picking. First aid maybe. Got animal whisper, we've got explosives. Got sneaky stuff, got weird science. Don't have arm rolling yet, lock picking got. I think mechanics. One in mechanics. Yeah, that'll do. And then her quirk is going to be the same because she's going to be front line, which is going to have six extra armor. So I've looked through these and most of them seem okay, but a lot of them, the detriment is just too great for what you get. Whereas bot bag, only 0.4 combat speed loss doesn't seem that much. For six armor, that seems pretty good. Coyote and Hawk. Yep, yeah, that'll do. Now one thing that's really cool about this compared to the sequel at any rate that I already know of is that it's fully voice acted. In the first one it had a lot of reading to go into because it wasn't voice acted at all so you spent most of your time reading. Which wasn't so much fun because this is because it's fully voice acted, it just it's more atmospheric as well, especially during the combat scenes. So that's pretty cool. One shot kill. She's just going to stay here for the moment. Combat movement. During combat, your rangers may need to take cover or change attack positions. Blue spaces are areas a ranger can move to with enough action points left for an attack. Orange spaces are areas within their maximum movement range. The red target preview line shows their new position placed them within targeting range of an enemy. Okay, so I'm not going to do anything with this guy actually, I'm just going to defend and if they come close I'll beat the crap out of them. Oh, that guy got X. So I did that one.
Another one shall kill, beautiful. Yeah, you can go smack him. No, our last survivor. Oh, that was our last survivor. Oh, the hawk's gonna be in trouble. We left her out in the open. Oh, they're shooting the gun anyway. That's fine. Vehicle turret online. It's time to even the odds. Press left bumper or right bumper to select your vehicle and attack the Dorsey Warbot to take it out. That's pretty good. Just get behind cover. And defend. Kablawi! through this we gotta take out the bastards with the rocket launcher up on the dam we'll each find our own way up there and catch him front and back got it got it understood major good and remember arizona's depending on us there's no giving up here there's no going back all right move out Who wouldn't? Healing after combat. Your rangers are injured. Fortunately, they are also equipped with med hypos they can use to heal themselves. To use one, select the injured ranger with left bumper or right bumper. Then open the med radial menu with X and switch to the quick items menu by pressing X a second time. Okay, so X, show items, med hypo, target self. So which one of us has animal explosives, lock picking, mechanics, and sneaky shit? So she's going to be like a super mechanic explosive ninja. And he's got hard ass animal whisper and kiss ass. So Coyote is the one who goes forth. Because he's got a high perception. Oh, where was that? Loot. Spikes or ammunition made from rusty nails and powder cartridges. It's like 1776 all over again. This ammo was used only in the jankiest of homemade weapons. Scrap is junk. Just a pile of junk. Who'd think there's anything valuable about this? Muscle tissue is junk. $15 for muscle tissue, blimey. A heap of muscle, tendon, tripe, and organs, the raw materials needed for every level, for entry level mad scientists. Old handkerchief, it's worn and slightly stained. More scrap, old handkerchief. Yellow snowball, quick slot item. The impact only lasts a moment, but the shame lasts a lifetime. Nice. Yellow snowball, 2 AP. Throw a character, throw at a target character to leave them wondering where their life turned wrong. On success, 10% chance to apply the stink, 5% chance to apply the black thor, 5% chance to apply Denver rot, 5% chance to apply freezer burn, 5% chance to apply ice pots, 5% chance to apply rocky mountain oyster, whatever that is. 
I'm gonna spend a bit closer. It's just a hunk of plastic now. Scrap, old handkerchief. That's everything by the looks of things. There were powder burns in this ranger's jacket. They were shot at point blank range. Okay, so abilities crouch. And blow his head off. Lovely, good shot, sir. See right, this butt is puffed its last. What happened to that guy? He sounded like he got hit by a rocket. This ranger was beaten to death. Oh yeah, he got annihilated. Someone sliced open this ranger's abdomen and removed his intestines, judging by the expression that is frozen on his dead face, he was alive when it happened. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. Nah, -uh, not gonna happen to me. Theo, how should I know? It, maybe you blew her up already. Liar. That is not happening to me. I swear by it. Where is she? I don't know. I don't know. Fuck! Your friends are here. Okay, Hotlanders, drop your guns and she doesn't die. Got it? Who are you people and why are you attacking us? You ain't heard of the Dorseys? The bringers of the Deluge? No. Ha! <laughs> You're more ignorant than I thought. Hardhouse, the only way you don't die is if you run, so get last while you still can. Okay, okay. Fuck you! I'm gone. I'm telling my cousin you did. Thanks. Saved my life. You probably should have killed that gal, though. Gonna warn her friends. And we were trying to keep you alive. It. Just watch yourself. They're right outside. I don't have first aid, so I can't help her. Any other survivors from your squad? Not likely. Most of them burn with our transport. A couple more went under the ice and... Wait, Major Tom, he might have made it. Saw him take off like a bat out of hell after we wrecked. Don't know if he'll come with you if you find him. He gets pretty spooked, but take these. Might get his attention. Who's Major Tom? Prasa is our major. <laughs> Major's just a nickname. You can just call him Tom when you find him. Let's get you moving. Gotta catch my wind first. Let me stay here and guard your rear while you take care of the ones around the corner. Be careful. Okay, let's ransack everything that isn't nailed down. Load of ammo, lovely. Colorado dollars, the patriarch's official currency whose face is on the front of every bill. Polaroid photo, the pictures could be faded, so nostalgic. Good luck. A tape from Jodie's folks wishing her well on her mission to the Rangers, or with the Rangers. Uh, your ma and I ain't, uh, much for saying goodbyes, Jodie Bell. So, I'm a mad hero. Okay, let's keep going. We just want you to know how proud we are of you, and that we'll be praying hard for your safe return. And don't you worry about us, none. We'll get by. We always do.
Looks like the Dorseys haven't been camped here for long. They must have known you were coming. Wake up, cousins! More Highlanders coming! Ah! Throwing it all fun. Guess we better finish off the rest of them. <laughs> Post up, cousins! Don't let them get the drop on us. Taking cover, quick take cover, taking cover protects you from enemy gunfire and improves your weapon's hit chance. There are two types of cover, low and high. High cover provides the best protection. Watch out though, cover only protects you from attacks coming from that direction. Flanking, the enemy is taking cover. To flank them, try moving to a new firing position on the battlefield with left stick and pressing A. I guess you can take cover against here. And defend. Oh, is that an explosive barrel he's standing next to? Let's find out. Oh, you can't shoot the barrel? Come on. Hey, make a swing and a miss. I should probably do away with this guy using a, like using a sniper. Yeah, seventy-three percent. Oh, you missed your crescent. Out of ammo, oh fuck, the weapon's out of ammo. For now, you can try equipping a different weapon or unequipping it and going bare knuckled. Once you're out of combat, you can resupply by finding a merchant or searching for loot. Ammo is scarce in the wasteland, so a pace to stay stocked up. Oh, good. So my sniper's out of ammo then. Oh, you can reload. Yeah, the six armor is making such a difference here. I'd be in real trouble if I didn't have it. Go with a higher percentage. Good shot. Can you shoot that as well? No, you can't. So I'm not sure I want to go near the exploding barrel, the oil tank, because if I move there, he might just move away and then shoot it and blow me up. I don't know why we can't shoot it, to be honest, so I'm just going to move there for the moment. 
And then we're gonna hunker down. And wait for that. The sniper's doing all the work at the moment, just carrying us. Hostage takers key, a worn key taking off the body of a Zistic Dorsey Raider. Energy cells, ammunition. These portable batteries are used to power electronic devices such as laser blasters and death rays. Cool. 9mm ammunition. 7.62 ammunition. 5.56. 0.45 ammo. Cigarette butt. This butt has puffed its last. Casio watch is junk. Stylish but it's long stopped working. Tax evasion for more odds. <laughs> nice. The top 10 secrets they don't want you to know. Med hypo again. Military designs for mid combat recovery. Simply close your hand around the device for self injection. Cool. 0.45 ammo spikes. Uh, my guy's kitted. And that's what I was afraid of. They're not actually equipped with. Health packs. Examine. This ranger was dragged out of a vehicle, disemboweled, and left to die of blood loss and cold. If you're disemboweled, you'll die pretty quickly, I should imagine. Injury kit, quick start item. A set of medical tools designed for surgical treatment and other serious injuries. Used to remove any injuries the target character has. Medic pack. Standard life saving kit for battlefield medics. Requires one first aid. Used to restore 35 constitution per turn over three turns. The mount healed increases with first aid skill level. Okay. There's an impression of a body in the snow surrounded by blood and footprints. Someone was butchered here and taken away. Use hostage taker's key. Success one. Frag grenade. Quick stock item. While the essential design is the same, modern fragmentation devices grow hundreds of shards more than the 20th century counterparts. First, deal explosive damage to anyone in the affected area. Upgrading your gear when you've looted an item, upgrade. You can view and equip it from your inventory screen to access your inventory. Press this. Upgrading your gear too. Let's equip your new gear. Select your new item, press A and select equip to equip it. If you want to change which race to equip it to onto, select a different range of using left or right bumper. Oh, it goes there, not in their weapons. Wow. Well, what's happened? Oh, yeah, that guy falls off. Yes, it's quite a welcome to Colorado. You know, as I was saying, this guy doesn't have a grenade yet, so I'll give him a grenade. Shotgun shells, 0.35 ammo, 5.56. Enemy detection, look out, there's a big ass robot ahead. Luckily, it doesn't see you yet. Stay out of its detection range to go unnoticed. You can get the first turn in combat by attacking an enemy before it spotted you. However, we can't stress enough how badly that robot will fuck you up right now. Oh yeah, froze his ass. Mm. 
machine turret, quick start items, small and compact in carrying mode, a fast release lever transforms the unit into a full bullet spraying menace in a single second. So it deploys a robotic machine turret that will attack your enemy's self destructs after combat has ended. Requires two mechanics. Acidic sludge, a strange sizzling sludge capable of dissolving biomass to the right mo medical mind, it might be worth something. Turret chassis, junk, a lightweight aluminium chassis. Grew a little, although a little banged up, it looks reusable. Okay, can we interact with this? Computer display these. Age is automated defense network, status ready, enter command. Nerd stuff I don't have. Disable defenses. Display reads defense network disabled. Sys admin authorized required for restart. Okay, so I just took out the minigun. The stranger was, was crawling away from his vehicle while he was killed. Someone sliced him open with a knife and let him bleed to death. How do you know that? Okay, we can't lose any ammo or anything from it. That's a shame, I thought we could get some ammunition from the gun. Examine. The entire team of rangers were turned into Swiss cheese, probably by those gun-toting mechanical death machines over there. You best avoid them entirely. What does that say? You ain't ready for the deluge. Cockpit. Armor create. Scout armor chest armor designed to protect against the most dangerous enemy in Colorado the cold. Armor plus three. I'll give that to my brawler. Since she's gonna be up front most of all. Now I would loot that crate, but previous knowledge tells me there's a mine in front of it. I don't think my perception is high enough to see it, so I'm just going to leave it. Snake squeeze ins, quick slot item. The one, the only. <laughs> Drink to regain 25 melee damage for 36 turns, but suffer 2 AP, negative 2 AP for 60 turns afterwards. Okay. Use your melee damage at the cost of AP later. Rabbit's pull utility, critical chance plus 3. Sign up sheet junk. Sign up for the chicken fight, Bass Royale. 10 teams will enter the tape, enter the lake. But only one will emerge victorious. Sign-ups available now for our premium club members. Please note, participants will also need to sign the wrongful death waiver sheet. Thanks. Okay. It's a lot of random stuff in this game, but it's quite cool, like, reading through. I'm going to give the rabbit's paw critical to our sniper. It's quite cool reading through it and getting the lore and the, the backstory and the humour in general of the game. It's pretty good. Five point five six ammo, one point five, one thirty eight. Injury kit, med hypo, nitro spike. Incapacitated party members don't need to slow down, don't need to stay down. All they need is a spike, a friend, a quick stab in the heart. Nice. Use to revive all incapacitated squad members. And we got 0 0.45, 0 0.38, 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0.45
5.56mm. Right. And rocket fire. Open the door. Like we killed them all. Guess the fun's over. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe not. Howdy, Hotlander. <laughs> oh, as much fun as it is killing folk long distance, I like it best when the deluge of blood happens up close and personal. You know what I mean? <laughs> The rest is gonna be sorry he stayed home. He loves him some entrails. <laughs> He's Erastus. My big brother. He'd have loved to taken a piece out of you. But that's okay. I'll bring him one later. This guy's a psycho. Leadership 2 requirement on that. Melee combat requirement on that. Who the hell are you people? <laughs> you don't know much, do you? The Dorseys are the harbingers of the deluge, the motherfucking end of the old world, and the beginning of the new. And it all begins here, you little prayer dog. What I do to you, the Dorsey's gonna do to all of Colorado. So squeal all you want. No one's coming to save us. The hawk squish. Holy they shit! Don't they don't kill Jared. They never shut up. Heads up, Rangers. More incoming. You can come here since you're a sniper, fall back. Oh, you washed in the blood of the land, love it. Oh, don't spread your fire, that's just silly. 45%, 85%. So you may go shot on two of them to take 85. Yeah, you can advance and not enough AP. Shit, she's gonna have to fall back. Oh, you crazy bitch just blew me up. You just blew me up and took off half my health, you psycho woman. She's gonna fall all the way back to here because she's on fire.
Can't hear anyone else, so take him out. How do you look at status effects? Inspect. Burning, she locked down minus 15, two turns. She's gonna burn out, damn. So she'll have to heal. That's annoying. Go and smack him to kill him. Bosh! Lovely. Nice. Leveling up. Your rangers have leveled up, leveling up grants some extra constitution and skill points to spend on upgrading their skills. At later levels they also gain additional tribute points to upgrade your skills. Press start then go to the skills bar by pressing left or right trigger. Acquiring skill points when rangers level up they earn skill points needed for skill upgrades. Since you just leveled up go to the skills tab you can spend your skill points by pressing left trigger and right trigger. Upgrading skills. Level up rewards each character with skill points that can be spent to upgrade their existing skills or learn new ones. They only cost a single skill point to increase a skill early on, but this cost goes up at higher levels. Upgrade a skill by selecting the skill you want to increase and pressing A. She can get lock picking up to level 3. No, lock picking and sneaky shit. He can get Animal Whisperer and Kiss Ass and his hard ass up again. Moldy Sock, his junk, there's something living in there and it ain't your foot. <laughs> Gross. Scrap, cigarette butt, scrap, cigarette butt, scrap. Mangler, oh sweet, you've got a rocket launcher. Point, shoot and duck. Requires one explosives. And the rocket, rocket's packs powerful blast. Just be sure you have something that can propel it far enough away from you. More we saw. So it requires explosives. She has explosives, so maybe I'll give it to her. Anyway, guys, we're coming up to the hour, so I'm going to wrap things up here for now. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching the stream with me. I do greatly appreciate it, and I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed playing. As always, it's been an absolute blast. Don't forget to leave a like or a comment in the section down below or consider subscribing if you're new to the channel and are looking for more video game content in the future. I'll be uploading much more of this and a variety of other games on a regular basis, so be sure to check back frequently for updates as the channel grows and develops. Once again, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. It really does mean the world to me. See you in the next one. Until then, peace out, and as always, stay classy.